so far throughout the day we have seen us 30 and us 100 trading in a very very narrow zone very very narrow range and this range we have discussed very early in the day with the asia session the first video for today that between 33 850 and 950 we should limit ourselves trading dow jones likewise tech 100 too has in fact got the support at 15030 levels and have and fail to break past 15100 so now what to expect today which position you should take trading dow jones and nasdaq we will see with the help of charts and indicators yes nfp data definitely will bring volatility which is right now appears to be a calm trade or calm market can definitely get volatile hence trade with caution trade with the stop loss trade with the tailing stop loss and before leaving the video just press the like button and press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis also do not forget to share and subscribe this definitely helps yes you can remain updated by joining our free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first we look into tech 100 followed with dow jones to watch till the end. now look us 100 here after the sharp rise it is trading or it is creating this bull flag hence in between 15100 and now 15 uh, 1020 levels i will not recommend you to take any position between these 80 points above 15100 or rather uh, those who wants to limit 15020 and 15120 you should not take any position Yes, beyond 15.020 also, 15.150.160 is the next resistance. Only and only if you see US 100 trading above 50.200, that should be treated as a reversal. As you can already see on the early chart, see lower lows, which means 14.900, lower highs, which means 15.100. It is trying to trade in this channel here. Now remember, the Bollinger Bands have narrowed and whatever the move we are going to see, it is going to be outside Bollinger Bands and hence it can show you swings here. A stock ISTIC has retraced, the MACD is, has also retraced, it is trading with modest bullish momentum, RSI is flat and on the 2 hour chart, now see on the 2 hour chart, this candle is important, it is a hammer candle and lower highs are seen since then. Yes, the previous candle also was a doji candle. This could be a potential reversal. Hence, wait for uh, 15080 and 15100, 120. These three levels to be breezed beyond that little more bullishness. But then 15150, the greater resistance and beyond that 15200 levels to be seen. Till 15200, greater resistance is seen here. Stock ISTIC is seen rising. The MACD is willing to cross over for a buy after a good sharp drop here on MACD. RSI is flat. And on the 3 hour chart, now look at 3 hour chart, see lower highs, higher lows, zone of consolidation, let it give a breakout either which ways. And that is why I say 15.020 and 15.120, a greater zone in which we should limit. Yes, you can buy at 15.080, however, 15.100, 1.20 are two greater resistances. The stock ISTIC has dropped, MACD is now willing to converge here, RSI is flat. And on the 4 hour charts, now on the 4 hour charts also, lower highs are seen and hence beyond 15080 little more rise however we have to remain very very cautious and alert see what it has done one green candle couple of retracement candles if it gives a breakout this should be similar size of candle here 970 to 100 130 points and then now 15 1 or 15 0, 7, 0 to 130 means 15 200 possibility exists for this also stock elastic flat macd is still bearish rsi is flat and on the daily chart now see on the daily chart see 20 period moving average definitely giving it a support double top is already done reversal is seen with that as reversal we have seen lower highs lower lows in the previous two candles now see the support here is at 4980 4970 levels very very strong support exists here you can see these two candles these two candles and hence this is a very strong support zone also on the upside 15200 is a greater resistance and hence in between this zone and specifically i'll talk about 14900 also the next support zone so in between this zone we have to remain extremely cautious 15200 14900 levels the stock elastic has dropped the macd is bearish rsi is flat here considering this you can buy here at 15080 however 100 120 150 160 zone and then 200 these are four to five major resistance level you have to put a trailing stop loss of just 20 points on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 15020 levels where you can expect 4970 and then 49 14900 14850 levels will be 
expected here now see the previous candle was a red candle uh, body size almost half the complete candle size and hence this is the first breakout candle there could be second and further bigger breakout candle on the downside and hence trade with caution here trade accordingly now let's have a look at Dow and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch the 23rd batch starts on 10th of july register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can join our signals channel for more details uh, and trade profitably now look at the hourly charts for us 30 see a reversal sign here double bottom here and since then we have seen it recovering now also see almost flat top or double top which means uh, resistance here at 33,960, 33,980 levels. So yes, a buy entry at 34,000 levels can be taken beyond which you may see 34,050 and then in fact this time we may see it hitting 34,150 or 200 levels. So once it stays above 34,100 more bullishness can be expected till 34,200 do not treat this for a reversal. Now also you can see higher lows which means higher highs which means 34100 levels cannot be denied a stock is is rising macd is divergent and bullish looking upwards rsi is also come out of the oversold zone and on the two hour charts likewise now look at the two hour charts here first of all previous few candles lower highs reversal sign but these candles are almost alike and hence once it stays above 33980 34000 levels more bullishness can take it for 34100 150 200 levels on the downside a sell entry is only below 33850 levels stochastic is rising the macd now see on the two hour charts macd has crossed over trying to trade with little divergence and bullishness rsi is also at bottom here and on the three hour charts now see similar is the observation lower highs flat bottom this could be potentially calling for a reversal beyond 33,950, 980 or uh, 34,000. This zone is important beyond that 34,050, 34,100 are two major resistance level. Now if you look at, see, red, green, red, green. Now this is almost a symmetrical formation and hence this candle can take it at least this zone which or a further lower levels which means 100, 150 levels can be seen here. Stochastic is dropping, MACD willing to converge crossover for a buy entry rsi is also oversold and on the four hour similar is the observation on the four hour charts lower highs lower lows but then wait for it to break past this zone and specifically 33 34000 levels i will say beyond that only little more bullish momentum is confirmed remember it can show you still good things i will show you on the daily charts why the stock stochastic is rising now see macd is extremely bearish it can try to converge rsi is trading at bottom and on the daily chart now see on the daily charts first of all lower or double top is seen 34500 yes it has come back till towards the th support levels 33800 and then 700 in fact till 33600 this is the maximum support zone it has already reached those levels and you can see it is still within this channel possibly achieving those levels it can try to retrace a little and hence 34100 34150 levels cannot be denied stochastic has dropped the macd on the daily charts has crossed over this is trading with divergence and bearishness and this is looking downwards rsi is also flat here considering this i will recommend you to buy here at 34000 levels but then 34050 100 150 200 till 34200 put a 40 to 50 point trailing stop loss such that in case of a reversal your trade closes in profit or shift keep shifting your stop losses to every milestone on the downside, you can sell here at 33,900 levels, but then 850, 800 are two major, major supports, and then 700 levels will be seen. Remember, 33,600, 700, 800, very good support levels, and hence you have to remain cautious. And hence you have to remain cautious here. It can still show you good swings. Trade accordingly, trade profitably, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, remember 33600 800 on the downside definitely a greater support 33800 itself is a great support we have seen it yesterday also and hence you have to trade with caution also you can join my mentorship batch 23rd batch starts on 10th of july register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals group reach out to me again for more details thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead and before leaving just press the like button and sh do share subscribe and comment thank you very much